Good morning. It's Tuesday the 9th of April. Isn't it lovely to start to see the signs of spring and new life? I'd like to say that we see it in the weather, but it seems a little unpredictable at the minute. But we can see it in the world around us, in the fields of sheep, in the daffodils and the flowers. And maybe on those lovely bright days, you get an opportunity to get out into the garden and see what signs of spring there are. This time of year, we talk about new life and new growth. But I wonder where in our lives there are signs of spring. Where in our churches is there signs of spring? We have the wonderful period after the resurrection where we are filled, I hope and believe, with joy and refreshed. That's how I feel this Easter. But I wonder where I'm starting to look for signs of growth and new life. Is there something that God has put on your heart? Is there a new project or a role you want to get involved in. I wonder as a circuit, as a community, as a church, where we see new growth and how we can enable that. Perhaps you can get involved in some of the projects around our circuit. There's Forest Church, there's Breathe and there are many more. Or perhaps you can be involved in some of our warming and welcome spaces. I would encourage everybody in this time of new, in this season of spring, to think about how they can find growth in their own personal journey. Maybe you can take up something new. I love to journal. I have a journaling Bible that really helps me and I love to doodle and write and communicate with God that way. But maybe you can find growth through a Bible study or an online course. There are lots of different options. But in this spring season, let's not just allow creation to show us new life and growth. Let's grow and work together. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for this time of spring. We thank you for new life and growth. And we thank you that we are filled with joy and hope and new things through your resurrection. Father, I pray that that same growth and new life will become abundant across our churches. And I pray that all of us can find new ways of growing closer to you in your almighty name. Amen.